How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and in this video we're going to be talking about base Goku and base Vegeta, and more specifically discussing how good they are in this game. Right away though, I will say that the difference in power between base Goku and base Vegeta is far less than something like, let's say, Bardock and Broly, you know? I think both of these characters have their merits, and you will be seeing them a lot online and probably in tournament play as well. With that said though, there is always going to be a better character out of the two, and I think this time around that on has to go to base Vegeta, but we'll go more in depth as to why I think he's the better character out of the two after we get done discussing base Goku. So base Goku's main strength comes in the form of his raw damage potential. This is a character that can get massive damage both off of his level 1 super, depending on how many of his teammates are left, and he also has access to some very damaging combos depending on how much of his spirit bomb he has charged up. If he has his hand spirit bomb charged up to level 3, if he lands any hit whatsoever he can transition into that hand spirit bomb and then just spend 3 bars to drop down his damaging level 3 super spear bomb, and that's about all she wrote for that character. Of course, the damage for this character only gets better with more optimization. If you have a team built around this character that can DHC into a super spear bomb, then your team is going to have really early kill potential. All of these strengths makes him a character that you do want to have in the back of your team, just waiting to get some either DHC damage or just the last line of defense in case you want to rely on that Kaioken times 20 damage for only one bar. That being said though, for a character that you want to have in the back of your team, his assist really isn't all that. Outside of the corner, you're going to find yourself having a very hard time either converting into combos with this thing, or just continuing them. It lacks the crazy property of causing a sliding knockdown like Goku Blue's assist, and it also lacks the utility of a beam assist found in Super Saiyan Goku and Goku Black. That being said, base Goku's next con is one that is shared between Super Saiyan Goku and him, and that's the fact that he also doesn't have a down line. I've covered this a lot on this channel so I won't go too into depth but this is going to make it harder to open up your opponents without the use of assist and it's just another thing that really limits your offense. It's one of those things that you really, really, really want to have on your character, if at all possible. One character that does have a low hitting 2L is base Vegeta, and while that's not the only thing separating him from base Goku, it is definitely something that you are going to appreciate when playing the character. Other things that come to mind when thinking about just how good base Vegeta is is his insanely fast Key Blast, which allows for him to do some pretty wonky staircase combos, both in the corner and outside of the corner, and with new routes being discovered, these don't even require assist anymore. Both of these combo routes result in some pretty hefty damage around the 5000 range, and then you can also add supers in on top of that. Whether or not you add in assist to these combos is entirely up to you, but that also adds on more damage as well. It also helps that another thing base Vegeta is really great at is the wake up game. This is when you have your opponent down on the ground and you're going to force them to eat a mix up. You can go high, low, empty jump low, you know, dragon rush, etc. All of these are different options, and base Vegeta makes it very tricky to see which one he he's going for. This is because of a multitude of reasons, he has a lot of different tools that allows him to get some very dirty mix-ups. One is whiffing his Destructo Disc and either air dashing in or landing and going for a low or Dragon Rush. Another one is whiffing a knee stomp and then holding forward to make them guess which way you're going again. Or you can just stick to the classics and do something every other character can. But that doesn't change the fact that Vegeta has a lot, a lot of options on here, while your opponent really doesn't have all too many. This can make base Vegeta feel very, very oppressive in the corner, and that's actually a really big problem for any opponents facing base Vegeta because he can get you there super easily. Like I said, those staircase combos outside of the corner, they're going to put you right in the corner as soon as base Vegeta touches you. Base Vegeta does have some cons, however, though they're not very big ones. Like base Goku, his assist really isn't all that great, but he does throw the Destructo Disc up, covering some airspace, so it does have some usability at long range, and you know, it acts like any other single hit in the corner. You can still definitely get some extensions off of it. Other than that, not too much comes to mind when I think of weaknesses for base Vegeta. His neutral really isn't the greatest, it's not as good as Bardock or Super Saiyan Vegeta, but I really don't think that matters too much considering how fast base Vegeta is, and the fact that you could just use some assist to help him out in that phase of the game anyway. I think his strengths once he gets the hit definitely more than make up for his weaknesses outside of the combo game. And that's pretty much all I have to say about base Goku and base Vegeta in terms of their in-game competitive level. Like I said, I do think base Vegeta is definitely better than base Goku, but go ahead and let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Another thing I want to cover in this video though is just how good these characters are for the game. As in, do they make the game a more enjoyable experience overall? And I 
I think for these two, the answer is definitely really split for me. They are another version of Goku and Vegeta, which is really not all too needed when you consider the fact that Dragon Ball is just a huge franchise with fan favorite characters from almost every era of the show. That being said though, I completely understand the decision to put these two in the game. They are favorites over in Japan, and they are just early iterations of some of our favorite characters of all time. Gameplay wise though, I do think these two bring a lot to the table. I mean, they should. Again, they this is like their fourth time at the formula of Goku and Vegeta, so they better be good. But these characters really bring some individuality to the game that we don't see amongst all the cast. Goku has his Kaioken, which operates completely differently from all other level ones in the game, and his level three is also super fun and unique, and it was a lot of fun trying to find different ways to combo into it. Base Vegeta has those staircase combos I mentioned, which isn't something a lot of other characters do, it's only unique to him. So I think in terms of gameplay, these two are definitely good for the game. It allows people who want to play different styles, maybe these were the styles they were looking for. That about wraps up everything I wanted to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Base Goku and Base Vegeta, how much fun you've been having with them, how much success you've been finding, and uh, just whether or not you're enjoying them. Let me know all of that down in the comments below. I'll be down there as always. While you're down there though, if you like these videos and want to see more like them from me, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya. I'll see you in the next video.